Alright, so last time, Iris somehow came back to life <laughs> after uh, getting stabbed multiple times. We found out a bunch about Menchie's old job. And we're going around info gathering through a bunch of different places. While, <laughs> as well as finding out that Tomi used to date uh, Prisoner 89. Um, we're also trying not to accidentally advance the plot without going everywhere. You asked me that yesterday. Oh, yeah. Right from the hospital? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Oh, that's all right. Date. We can't spend time reminiscing. We have to get moving. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing... Um... What seems like talking to Iris is what we have to do. All right, I forgot the button prompt. All right. A switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Right. You first arrived here yesterday at 9 yep. p.m. At that time, lying on this workbench was... Iris's dead body, covered with a white cloth. Right. right. But the second time... The second time, there was nothing. The corpse was gone. It right. was 11.25 p.m. Yeah. But the body could not have simply vanished. Crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. Where did they arrive? According to the report, 10.30 p.m. After we finished sinking with so. Okay. It took them an hour and a half to get here? Correct. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. The report does not specify. Perhaps a result of outside influence. Possibly. Outside influence. In any case, there is nothing of note about the bench. Examining it will not reveal any further information. cardboard boxes on the shelves. There is nothing abnormal about them. No, like chocolate left here. A forklift. It doesn't seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Cardboard box, but is there snake hiding in it? It's just a box. There are only a few items on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. <clears throat> well, that makes sense. I mean... It's a wooden box. There is nothing inside. The warehouse went... <laughs> It'd be hard to believe the warehouse sees often you like a lot of use when the forklift is literally frozen to the, the floor. The crane on the ceiling. Nothing has changed. A forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Nothing. But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. I didn't get to check the ice cutting machine. Mean? I was just thinking out loud. Let's get going. Date, your temperature is dropping. At this rate, they might find your body in here. No, I want to investigate the ice that cutting machine. That machine's used to cut ice. I know. Do they store ice here? Fine. I would love this game. I am so aggro right now. <laughs> what? Who says that? Well, you know. Why are you angry? You backed out on your Shovel Forge promise. Wow. I didn't make any promises. You promised me a date, though. I did go to your house. Two minutes before midnight, and you didn't even take me anywhere. Yeah, because we only had two minutes. We could have gone somewhere. Iturup, Kunashir, Shikotan, Habamai? Absolutely not. should have come earlier. Well, uh... <laughs> uh yeah, okay, I was fine. Dante, look! It's a terraphila camelophilia! Look! Excuse me? Yay. <laughs> How to make a good soba. No, Tate, you always say you'll bring that one home whenever you see one, but you never do, do you? I should lose some weight. I didn't say so fat. Date, I don't understand. You want me to say hi to this table? That's not what I said. What? It's Shinsen Chatran. Who is that? Excuse me? Like it? It's called Fisherman Shagging a Common Dandy. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, why? Well, because it may lead to something in the future. <laughs> Date. Hmm, I don't know. Date, we're on an investigation. Just let me have this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. I cannot even picture that. <laughs> um, I'm five four. 
That is clearly not what you meant. <laughs> Sorry, but I gotta pick the joke answers. That's enough. I'll come right out of your eye socket if you don't stop. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm going to pop out. <laughs> and so my story at the end. Wait, that, that's okay. I did. <laughs> but I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to. <laughs> I kind of thought that'd be another joke ended. Off? Yeah, from school. Oh, yeah, it's a holiday. So I decided to come to Lemnus Gate. We're going to do a recording for a show soon. Oh. <clears throat> I know you were mad about our date, but why was your phone off? I couldn't get a hold of you. Um... Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Who was it? And you left the house as well. Where did you go? You really want to know? Yes. And you'd do anything for the answer? Yes. All right then, Shovel Forge. No. Then go on a date with me. Again, no. But you owe me for yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. Objection. <laughs> Overruled. Sustain, deny. Other obligatory court terms I can't remember right now. Something, something, Judge Judy. Even if you did get a hold of me, you didn't want to see me anyway, right? Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. <sighs> Iris, promise you won't laugh, but I saw something. The cold storage warehouse <clears throat> last night. What? Your dead body. <laughs> I told you not to laugh. But come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. Oh, yes. Look, I can jump around. Woohoo! Stop. I'm serious. <laughs> okay. In my dream, I saved you from being killed. And here you are. Which is why I was. Like that when I went to your house yesterday. Sorry, there's no point in telling you all this. No, it's fine. Sorry for laughing. The reception is like, oh, he's crazy. I just didn't know what was up with you. Huh? I believe you, Date. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Another bizarre explanation. Oh, knowing this, <laughs> knowing Uchikoshi, not really. What about him? A traffic accident? I'm worried. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. I want to too. We've been looking for him. We've been getting so many calls. It's hard to keep up with. Oh. I've seen him on TV. Ever met him? No. Not at all. No, not at all. Okay. So, what are we doing? What do you mean? For our date, of course. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I have to, like, do I have to do Advance the story? Is this a branching path? Um, I'm overthinking this, of course. Um, And I think I need to do it to advance the story. Fine. Hey, wait a minute! <clears throat> Yay! So you'll play Shovel Forge with me? I will not. So we'll go on a date then. <sighs> yes. 
deal. And you have to honor our agreement this time. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, but we can't go right away. I have a recording coming up. I should be done by three, though. Tessa, we're starting soon. Got it! So, Date, meet me back here at three? If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. Anyway, bye for now. Peace! Just don't go Clover. Okay, I'm just checking just to see. Well, I guess you have to. Okay. See, I thought for a second that... What the hell is Iterup Island? Oh. But no, I thought... I don't know why I thought that would... Suddenly be a... Um, <clears throat> be a split, but... Okay. There is no point remaining here. Let's get moving. Yeah, I guess. Let's talk to so. It's that damn car again every time. It's always going the so other way. So Sajima now. is a key person of interest in this case. Yes. Earlier. The boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. Agreed. I checked the call logs of So's phones. Congressman Sajima has one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. What's the fake name? Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. Really? But I do have something. Okay. I looked into So's secretary's phone. One call in particular stood out to me. Right. Huh? It was one week ago, <clears throat> from Fuchu Prison. The caller identified themselves as inmate number 89. Oh no, please don't make me have to sync with him again. That sync was so rough. Number 89? Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. I know who killed Shogun Adami. When you crash, the first thing you hit is the dash. Interesting. <laughs> no, Dante, that's not the ten and two. Dante, this reminds me of Egyptian mythology. How? Hathor, the mother of Ra. The mirror was one of her sacred symbols. Oh. Isn't she a cow or something? What? I, I don't remember that. This box is where you keep your doves. That's a dove box. It's not a dove box. <laughs> I've uh... Date, can I move the shifter around? No, don't. Resist the urge. What? registered in any databases. Well, he has to be registered in one he of them. He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. However, I did not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Right. From what I can determine, he is an assassin. He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. Okay. His code name is Falco. Falco? So that is Falco. Wait, no, I already made that joke. Damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. Correct. Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. Number 89 said he knew who killed Shoko. He right. did, but that may be a lie. Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Unknown. In all honesty, I have no idea. <laughs> well, you see, the thing about that is... Murder. He is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. He was imprisoned six years ago. 
Six years ago. Number 89. Should we visit yeah. Kuchu Prison? No. We don't have time. Call up boss. Tell her to request that number 89 be brought to Abyss. Oh, I don't want to sync with him again. Roger. That sync was such a pain. I heard there was no body found at the cold storage warehouse. Right. Isn't your investigation over? Well, you'd think so, but... Shut down a second. to answer something. It's just a bush, that's all. Speaking of gardens, what kind do you prefer? I like a well-manicured lawn. Date. But some bushes aren't bad either. Date. I mean, what? <laughs> Be fair, Iba, if you've known him for five years, you should know he would have responded like that. <laughs> Iba, look! A merman! So is a wealthy politician. It is no <laughs> surprise to me that he has a merman. Wait, a merman? Is this gonna go the thing? Do the thing, do the thing, please do the thing. Oh, hey everybody! I'm a merman. What? <laughs> Oh, no, I thought they were going to do the Phi thing. I really wanted them to do the Phi thing. <laughs> and then it come on, but no. I told you I will not answer that question. And uh. why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. It appears that he will not respond. Oh, then we should push him in the koi pond and feed him to the merman. Or something. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know that girl. I've never seen her before. Date. I knew he was lying. This proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. After right. all, Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her he doesn't want us knowing. Maybe he tried to kill what her and she died. Why lying so? You are beginning to irritate me. What did you want to talk to her about? What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? Right. I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. <sighs> I'll present my foot up your ass if you don't cooperate more. <laughs> uh, no, no. Number 89. Who is that? An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. Is it? Considering how the Yakuza supposedly are and are often portrayed in fiction. What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. 
I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. Uh huh. If you need information, you can ask her. I can't help you. Haven't you people got enough? I'm very busy. Excuse me. So be busy swimming in the pond. <laughs> oh, actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. <laughs> Fuck off. No. <laughs> to be honest, Kaname Date, I don't like you. Yeah, let's meet you. I don't ever want to see you again. So oh, I suggest oh. that you don't show your face here anymore. Oh, he is telling him to fuck off. Wow, I was just joking. <laughs> I was just joking. It's what's best for both of us, understand? No, not really. But whatever. Who does this guy think he is? Well, he thinks he's a politician who is, you know, it's immune due to something, something. Ah, shit, what's it called when you can't be like prosecuted, you know, and people are like, oh, I want, oh, do... <laughs> yeah, he thinks he's got diplomatic immunity or something. Date, your blood pressure is That's skyrocketing. The term. Any higher could kill you. <sighs> Relax, Date. We still have much to do. Fusraba. Wait, no, is that it? I know, I know. Can I just toss him in the koi pond, though? Or something? <laughs> Ah, fine. Back to headquarters. Oh. <laughs> the funny thing is... Iris is going to be super pissed. Because it's going to be like, oh, we got to interrogate him. And she's gonna be like, you ditch me again? I took care of what you asked for. Number 89? He's here. In the interrogation room. Huh. I'm on it. You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. Alright. One of the higher ups needs me. Ew. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Okay. Understood. This isn't going to be pretty. Well, time to investigate everything. Let's get started. Let's get started while I investigate everything in the room before I talk to you. I mean, I realize I've already investigated this before, so listen, so none of this is new. However, All right. number 89. Your real name? I don't know, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Works to me. Djibouti. Northeast Africa. A small republic of roughly 900,000. Okay. I don't take kindly to stupid lies. <clears throat> I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. Oh, you know about that. Yeah. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. Okay. I got him on the line and I told him something very important. Was it I know who killed Choko Nadami? You spoke with him directly? <clears throat> yeah. I told him to call somebody. Somebody? Was that somebody Shoko Nadami? <laughs> I can't tell you anymore. <sighs> All right, let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Right. Hey, don't be so hasty. <laughs> Give me a pardon and I'll tell you. We haven't you. agreed on a deal. 
You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Yes, I promise. Shit, <laughs> you're lying. You don't want to release me. Well, you're not wrong. That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? You really want to know? Here's what I mean! Oh shit. <laughs> I was not expecting that. You'll make a good hostage for me. Why did you just stand Take there the whole the time? Exit. Now. Pewter, what were you doing? You just watched that happen. You didn't shackle his legs? Oh, darn. Are you kidding me? A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. Boss is like, what the fuck? I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. We need to get number 89 back before then. Peter, what the fuck did you do? How can you be standing calmly when he just kicked the shit out of you? got your ass kicked by a guy with both his hands and possibly feet I didn't get a good look bound in the middle of interrogation while you had time to watch him take down Dante <laughs> I don't apologize, don't apologize. <laughs> all right I'm pausing this here Hang on. <laughs> 